Welcome everyone to the Smite Art Show. Over there, we've got this happening. Um, we have the ever present Kayla, rocking that hat. What's that from? Is it from Super Mario? It's awesome. Is it? Definitely it's from Super Mario. Mario. That's like a Wonder angry Bucket. Luigi hat. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, Can you calm totally. down, Mario Kart Eight? Um, and in the middle here, we have <laughs> the darling and sweet and stunning Gavin. And over this here, we so have bad. someone sweet who takes back stunning. everything she just said because she hates Gavin. Thank you. This is a lot more. Hi, accurate. Rosanna. I love you. Hi, Rose Gavin. Hi, Rose Kayla. I appreciate you. Yeah. And Thank welcome to the Smite Art Show, and fancy new digs. Yeah. New digs. Last week we uh, we debuted our fancy new digs, we did. and hopefully you guys liked them. Um, we certainly did. So, can you just calm down? <laughs> Alright guys, so welcome to the art show. Um, today we're going to be doing something awesome. We're going to be doodling. We got them doodles. Yep. Unfortunately, we can't both be doodling because right, we're still trying to figure everything out. So Kayla over there will be doodling because, as you guys know, the uh, contest or the challenge that we gave you guys last week was to anime your gods or do anime gods. And Lord knows, I'm not very good at that. Where <laughs> Kayla, I love is anime. I really perfect. do, guys. Anime is near and dear to my heart. It's what got me really started in art. <laughs> and so, yeah, I love anime. Yep. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, Kayla, you wanna give a quick recap? All right, so for last week, if you guys missed the show, our last week channel w challenge was Sci-Fi Gods. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah, and it was it was excellent. It was it was one of the, our best challenges I think so far. You know, besides like this one, I think this one was actually on par, if not a little bit better. Oh as yeah, far as this one go. was uh, exceptional for entries. Yeah. yeah, and also we did for the first time ever we did Critique Week, which I think went rather well and I, I'm really glad that you guys you yeah. know were open to the idea of getting some of your art cri critiques so you can improve and stuff like that I know a lot of people are kind of scared to do that because they they don't want to get like they don't want to feel reviews, bad yeah they don't yeah. they don't want to feel bad but you know what you know you never stop getting critiqued in life you really don't like I'm constantly getting critiqued and it's getting critiqued I walk into the yeah. door and everyone's like really Anna that shirt with those pants <laughs> Stop it. And as we all know, I you constantly get critique from Anna, no matter what. No, just, On everything. No, just it's everything. The truth. Everyone talks I about it. Yeah, okay. Everyone, <laughs> everyone <laughs> critiques you. Guys. See what I mean? See what I mean? I'm kidding. Gavin's great. Yeah. But yeah, keep in mind that we uh, are opening that critique option to all of you, yes. uh, I guess, kind of indefinitely. If you would like actual critique on your pieces, just add critique or crit to your title. Yes. Uh, when you submit your art piece, and we will uh, look through it, and actually, at the end of the show, we will yeah. give we it some will, serious critique. We will tear it up and down. I won't. With critique. I mean, there's both. There's there's positive and negative critiques. And there is. Yeah, it's yeah. you, you have to. End. You get we get you get both. Yeah. As long as you know that we're not attacking you as a person at all. Yeah. You <laughs> a lot of people confuse that. You're fantastic. <laughs> it's like oh, in my heart, no. <laughs> I guess, but but yeah, that was pretty much what we did last week. Oh, is no. we had the uh, sci-fi challenge and then critique week and stuff like that. Yeah. And it was our first episode here in the in the new studio. In the new area. digs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so do you guys want to say like what yeah, we're so be let's doing today? let's talk about what is on the agenda. Sorry, I'm I'm on Lasses' uh, Twitch thing and I'm trying to like tell everybody it's like if Lasses puts something on chat, it's actually me. So. Oh, you <laughs> logged as Lasses. Yeah. You're logged in as Lasses. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I'm handsome and tall and a hunk. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, let's uh, let's get right into this today. Uh, Kayla is going to be doing some sketching. So let's uh, and while she sketches, uh, if production can bring us over to what uh, she's doing, so everyone can see it, yes. uh, that would be awesome. Uh, but while she's sketching, we're going to talk about uh, the challenges. Uh, yeah, we have three fantastic ones for you guys. That's how we're going to be doing it. For any newcomers, we've recently been doing this thing where we give you three options for uh, for challenges, and you guys get to choose on our straw poll. So, do we want to go ahead and name yeah, them off? Yeah, uh, you name them off, and then right. I'll post the link so okay. they can vote. Okay, yeah. Jeez. <sighs> All right, guys, so the three challenges, and we're going to be posting the straw poll for you guys to decide. One is super serious gods, and that can be a whole range of things, just obviously make it serious. Um, the second one is gods as spaceships, my personal favorite. Yeah. I think that would be really awesome. <laughs> and then finally, the last one is medieval-style gods. So go ahead and vote, guys. Hold on, I haven't, I haven't given them the link yet. Well, then you need to just catch up. <laughs> Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, guys. So you can vote here on this uh, link that I just uh, posted three times in chat. And also, guys, you need to be 
asking Lassus on chat, um, look for the that tag, and I will be posting the Ask FM link. Yeah. So if you have any questions you know for, I want to give a shout to Lassus for being so helpful today on the art show. Yeah. Why seriously. You know what? He's Thank so you sweet. so much. Uh, like, he oh, had both of his bot. messages deleted. <laughs> oh, bot. Dang. Why you do this to me? But yeah, I'm just going to be sketching just like an anime style character and stuff like that. I'm going to have so. to mod lasses for this show. I can see them <laughs> eyes coming out, girl. Yeah, the anime style eyes. Ooh. See, I can do this. I actually, uh, for you guys' chat, I wanted to do a little doodle. If you guys remember the anime Full Metal Alchemist, I wanted to do something with Al and Ed and uh, Geb as Al. It's a good anime. Like Mecha Geb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, Ed would either be Apollo, because that's the only character I can really think would be perfect for Ed, because Ed's like that, you know, hey, I'm actually like a badass and all that, and Apollo has that steez yeah. to him. Mm -hmm. So, but eventually, me? one day, that'll happen. Oh my god. <laughs> Kayla, that what? eye. It's intense. Uh, oh, I want to say one more thing about the uh, the whole poll selection thing for the art challenge. Uh, we always give you three options, but keep in mind, if one wins that you were like, but you were super just like you had your heart absolutely set on drawing Apollo as a spaceship. Uh, oh my god! Then the, his hair, <gasps> go his for hair it. The, like the Apollo Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Gavin. Put your arms down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gavin has taken off his shirt, guys. And <laughs> what is happening? Is this so is the real reason happy. why Photoshop is full screen. Yep. He's just so happy with his, yep. with his Apparently. Decision. We cannot control him. But anyways, as I was saying, if there's any point when you're just you like all... Oh, God. <laughs> You just have your heart set on a challenge. It doesn't win. Remember, you can still submit something for any of these challenge ideas. If something floats your boat, go for it. You don't get the extra 200 gems if you win, uh, but you still get 600 gems if you win. And we love seeing that stuff. So we much. love seeing that stuff. Ooh, guys, okay, real quick, just a little uh, recap or heads up on the straw poll. Seems like medieval style gods is killing it at the moment. That's, that's, that's personally my favorite. So I, I'm, yeah. I'm down with that. I'm super down with that. Girl, who is this person? Oh, he man. or she is quite cute already. I like that nose, though. He's, yeah, you know, typical little triangle nose. Yep, of course. <laughs> Whenever I draw anime, I just have to draw the full face, like, head on, because all it is is just, like, a dot for the mouth, mm -hmm. and it's, like, this weird little triangle thing for, for the nose. It's like, <laughs> it's a, like this. Yeah, it's a lopsided triangle, yeah. You know yeah. what it is, yeah. It's that. that or or that. it's just, okay. like... Nothing. Yeah, I can so there's like a thing. line. There's like a line through it. That's all it is. It's so simple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, do you see it? Yeah. It's like Betty and Veronica style. I drew nothing for like Sailor Moon for like a year and a half of my life. So I did Tenchi Muyo. I like Tenchi Muyo too. Yeah, that's that was my good. jam. All right, guys. So we're just gonna keep uh, just chilling here, watching Kayla draw some anime things. What? What yeah, is she? Got? Yeah. What is she do drawing? We, do we have any like? Don't we have spoils today or something? No, oh, maybe. I don't, I don't know. think so. No spoils for you guys, cause we're just the art show. Yeah. We don't. We don't do it. We don't do that. Like that's that. the, we leave that stuff to like the streamers. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> that's for like, the important people. I don't even know what goes around well, in the love. studio. I'm just. I'm just here. Yeah, just coming to work. <laughs> coming to work. Yeah, I do. Beat up Gavin. A well, bit keep in mind also for everyone, uh, you may notice that we are an hour ahead of time. Uh, we usually stream at, or uh, the art show is usually at 4 p.m. on Thursdays. Uh, that's U.S. Eastern Time or EST uh, for all of you uh, in the, the U.S. I got some Ask FM questions here. Some do it. real, Ooh, like real head scratchers. Um, head scratchers. First one, who Don't are you? Me. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> who are mark. you? I still ask myself. Who that. are you? I have no idea. Well, I'm Hyres Etta. Hi, person. Um, I am 2D artist for Hyres Studios for the marketing side. Over there is delightful Gavin. The delightful. The delightful and stunning Gavin, who is, just exists to annoy me. <laughs> yep. Um, that's actually what they hired me. Title. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's actually his official title on the cards. Exists to annoy Hyres Etta. And over there is Hyres Kayla, doodling, picking her nose. Picking her you, nose. Can you stop? So there's there's your questions yep. answered. Another one is where is Gavin going to hide now? Uh, Nowhere. I, I really can't hide. I mean, I yeah. can get underneath this desk, but it's really uncomfortable. So now I don't you guys do that. see. Now you guys know, like that face. Don't you just want to punch it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Anna. I'm just saying. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Because you, know? <laughs> you guys are feeling like us. 
Okay, and here we have from five days ago. Could you please post the submission link? Oops. No, if you want to submit, <laughs> there is a link right below the channel. There is. Just you go, go down click there it, and you see art submission. I think it's a Hades. Um, it is. If, Kayla's yeah, Hades. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Kayla's Hades. Yeah, you just go down there, scroll a little bit. It'll just you know move your finger like this on the thingy. That Hades is actually my first ever smite artwork I've ever done. It's oh really God. great. And ever. It, and it you works. See that scrolling. Um, just scroll down. Sorry. <laughs> and actually, if you're just watching via like an embedded stream or on our website or yes. in the game client, just uh, be sure to drop by twitch.tv slash smite game yes, uh, where you'll be able to find that link. Um, we also tweet it out every now and then. If you are not already following us at, uh, at smite game or smite art show, and I guess at Smite Game as well. That's the official yeah. like Smite one. I'm sure you are already. But Here if you're not are. already following the Smite Art Show, at Smite Art Show, yeah, uh, we do. do updates on when the show is going to take place, yes. if it gets its time changed like it was this week, if there's anything really exceptional that gets sent in to us via Twitter, we yeah. retweet it. So there's some really cool stuff. Also you can also send excellent. in stuff to us. It's also well, yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's also an excellent way to get your own personal feedback, not necessarily to do with the show, but just on any kind of drawing you want mm -hmm. that's might related that you don't necessarily want to, to present to the show. You could just draw something and be like, hey, how can I fix this? You tweet at us at Smite Art Show or our individual Twitters, whichever one, and we can help you out and we can give you all sorts of uh, lessons and life lessons. Now, isn't there <laughs> also something we are doing now with the art show where you can actually tweet at us during it and make yes. it? Yes, that is another thing you can do see up it? at, as you can see in the upper right hand corner. Ka -cha oh, tweet God. At us. Can you? It's I'm going to bow my head at myself. It's right there. Has on the ground. Ha hashtag smite, smite art. Oh, it's at the... Oh, no. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it's down here. It's down All right. here somewhere. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> See what I put up with? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. But no, if you tweet anything uh, with hashtag smite art, uh, as you can see in the lower area... All your tweets with right hash, uh, hashtag smite art will have uh, will be s the ones that we like will be selected <laughs> and they'll uh, show up live in the news section. So yeah, if you want, if you've got some like, <laughs> follow me. I've got <laughs> kick-ass smite art. You can do that. <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> I had sugar. Oh my oh god! No, you started talking and Speaking I zoned out. Sugar. There's my sugar. There's my and sugar. That's what happened. Sugar, smite <laughs> art brought to you by Icebreakers. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Can you like sponsor me? <laughs> Please give me a million dollars. All right, I'm gonna post the. Uh, Actually, the I had a really good question that okay, I wanted to uh, that I found on Ask FM. Best way to jump out of your comfort zone with drawing? Draw something that you don't normally draw. Take one of our challenges. Yeah. yeah. If exactly. that challenge makes you feel uncomfortable, it you need to do it. That's um, just what you're supposed to do. A good way, in my opinion, to get out of your comfort zone is um, just like. Do it very slowly. It's a very slow uphill process depending on how sensitive you are to like doing something completely out of your comfort zone. Like say, if you want to draw a person, a different style of person, you can do fan art. And you can, you can take that person, you can either, or that character, and you can trace it, and then you can try it yourself, and then just slowly, slowly, gradually do it yourself and, and uh, see how it affects your, your own personal style. I have a question for you. What? Good lord, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, please ask me anything. Um, is there is there anything that is pretty much uncomfortable for you to draw that you find hard to draw? Um, any kind of machinery, like mecha suits or anything like that. I, I see like Max, you know, our own high res Max, he does it so easily and fluidly. Yeah. It's it's glorious. I mean any kind of crazy badass artist can do it so easily, whereas I'm just I overthink it. I overthink the mechanics of it. It's like where should I put the armored plating? Like it's too much. So it ends up being Yeah, because it's kinda hard because like you kinda have to figure out like how is this thing actually yeah. gonna work. Because you know? people and truly like artists will look at it and, and want to see the mechanics behind it instead of somebody who just looks at it and is like, oh that's clearly like a mecha suit that looks great. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, somebody else who's more seasoned vet to the art world will look at it and be like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Chat seems to be trying their hardest to possibly guess who it is that you're Ooh. drawing. Good oh, luck, it's chat. Very, it's very <laughs> anime style. Good, good luck, chat. Yeah, you're cute though, chat. Oh, here we got more questions. Um, can I get suggestions and critiques, changes, additions to a work in progress? If so, what's the best way? Yes. Uh, with works That's in true. progress, I would suggest sending that in via Twitter. Yes. Yeah, uh, just because we see it right then and there, uh, whereas the you don't want to have to wait a week. 
just Twitter, to get. Twitter is fantastic. Yeah. I live on Twitter. Phones, you know, we all I have smartphones, so we see it constantly. Yeah. So if you if you tweet at us, we'll immediately see what you're what you're trying to say to us. Yeah, and then way, that way, if you yeah. sub if you submit something that way, if it's a work in progress, we'll see it. We can get back to you much faster than we would if we were just critiquing it with the actual. Live I will show. typically try and get back to you within like five hours after you tweeted at me. Yeah. Like so, I I try and keep on top of that for you guys. That is the best way to get a hold of me if you want like feedback and stuff. And of what course, if you have a piece that you just can't wait to be shown, like you're like, all right, I cannot wait until Thursday. Oh my God. I finish this Monday. I need it to be seen by people. Tweet it at us. If it's really great, we'll retweet it. Yep. Oh well, I I retweet everything. Yeah. <laughs> If anybody like tags me on anything, I'm like retweet. <laughs> <laughs> now, if it gets to a point where I'm getting lots of stick figures, I might not retweet all those because oh, I don't yeah, want to no. make people mad. No. <laughs> Why are you blowing up my feet with stick figures? <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Oh, and uh, here somebody asked, what art program is Kayla using right now? It is Photoshop. Mm -hmm. CS. Do you know? This is, I think, CS5. CS5. Yep. Photoshop CS5, which is our uh, program of choice. Obviously, we've mentioned it before in past shows where we just love Photoshop. And the tablet she's using is a Wacom Intuos 6. This is a is that Intuos, wrong? no. I think this is, is an Intuos 3. Three, yeah, this is an Intuos 3. Not bad. It's a rather large one. I would never just buy one this big. Like this. Are you drawing Kali? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Keep yes. trying, chat. Inna is, is a known liar. So you know, that's actually a problem. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know what? I will straight up. I am dealing with. I'll straight up give. I'm going to therapy for this, Kayla. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just Be gentle. <laughs> can you just not? Can I just will. Chat right, is got... chat is so cute. They think chat. it's me. Chat. Oh, chat. Mm, chat. Hashtag oh. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hashtag not in your dreams. Oh. Actually, I'm. It's cute that. though. All right, well, actually, you know what? Let's roll a little early into Ooh. the uh, community art because we have so much of it. So much good art. Yeah, so much, like, not really. That bad art, not that we get bad art, but, like, we have an overwhelming amount of, like, I guess it's, a lot of anime fans. Yeah, it's very, yes. it's very detailed yeah. artwork. So let's just jump right into it, guys. And the we'll be checking parts. back in on uh, Kayla's progress yes, every now and then, so. No, go away. You can't let, look. let us can't get see. right into it. Community first. We're going to kill July 10th, 2014. First up, we have Abdur <laughs> Quadri. Sorry, guys. You guys know I butcher names. This is precious. Does anyone know what that says in Japanese? Um, Kawhi? Maybe? Does it? I hope so. Is it kawaii? Some guy on Twitter, I think, was like angry or he was like joking or something. He was like, oh yeah, if, you, if it's kawaii, if you put kawaii, it's in instantly anime. And I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, duh. <laughs> so Come this on one, um, it's obviously the new Hercules, uh, and he's precious. I think it might be MS Paint, the looks of it, the rough lines. He is so adorable. Tiny little job. head. Excellent job on MS Paint, and also giving the lion the cute little anime eyes and the blush spots. Excellent. Good job. Next. Adam Saxton gave us this really unique. This actually reminds me of a uh, of an old painting style that was like in the Renaissance. It was Romanticism. It was that guy that would draw faces with purely just vegetables and fruits. Do you remember? Oh that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember the name of the artist oh, though. Oh yeah, you, you, yes. They were I know what you're talking creepy about. Creepy as hell too. I forgot oh, about that. that. Hence this being super creepy. It's totally scary. Yeah. Very That's why fitting. I forgot about it. Um, and this is Bacchusura as a veggie. Veggie Bakasura. Veggie Sura. Veggie Sura. Healthy for you. So healthy for you. I'm call him V8. Excellent job, Adam Saxon. And this next one is a cute little, cute little oh It's God, animated, it unfortunately, it animate. uh, with our new setup, we cannot uh, show it. But you know what? I'll probably, uh, like, we'll figure just, we'll figure out ways. I'll probably post I'll it. I'll describe what's it. happening. He's lifting his, his staff just a little bit. And he's yeah, can opening you see it? His can you see it? It's, it's moving a little bit, guys. I'm not... Uh, Wow. Back to drawing. We just got trolled. Seriously. I got excited. <laughs> I looked at the screen. I was like, this <laughs> <movie>? <laughs> So Alex So did this one for us, and uh, he's done this stuff before, and he's always just never failed to impress us. Yeah, really, really. I love his sprites and his, like, little animated, just everything yeah. is wonderful. Excellent. Good job, Alex So. This next one is Tear by As oh, <laughs> Asgir Bergheim. <laughs> you guys should see my face when I'm trying to say these names. It's yeah, hilarious. it's all like twisted and like <laughs> her nose is scrunched up. Sorry. <laughs> she's like, got, a, she's got at bad. least three fingers <laughs> in her <laughs> nose at the same time, too. <laughs> we only have two. <laughs> we, we, yeah. are, we are going harsh on it today. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, high five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys are dead. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I'm going to kill you Okay, so this is tier, um, and I think it might be a sci-fi tier. I'm not sure, but it was really cool. And uh, here we have Bart Calera's Apollo. Moved on to the next one. 
<laughs> <laughs> Hashtag blame Josh. What is this? A monkey show? Good God. Um, so this is Apollo, <laughs> and the harsh lines are so cool. This is obviously anime, and it reminds me of a, a very dark anime movie called Dead Leaves with that very thick, bold line yeah. and just sharp colors. Excellent job, Bart Calera. Benjamin Bondegard. Thank God, I hope I did that right. That is one uh, bipolar hell, look in hell. Yeah, this hell, I actually really like the fact that he did the uh, me, myself, and Irene face. Yeah. The smiley and then the, the angry. And he did yeah. an excellent job with the teeth because teeth are always very difficult. Teeth are crazy difficult. Yeah, and she, she ah. looks teethy. But excellent job, Jen, Benjamin Bondegard, with the colors and everything. The hair is astounding. Bird S. Hit. Uh, this one's super anime Isis. Those eyes, quintessential anime right there. Um, quintessential. Quintessential. That is such a big word. Well, you know, I went on the dictionary and it said that I could use oh that word. What does quintessential even mean? It's I don't know. Like I really don't know. Perfect. Like, it fits perfectly. It's super relevant. It's oh, just okay, cool. I'll learn something new today. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but this one's uh, traditional. I think it's uh, color pencil. You guys with can't see it, but I'm face palming right now. <laughs> Your face isn't even. A what? Idiot. Um, Bird <laughs> Asshat again gave us this delightful. He gave us two renditions. Super kawaii. I know. He gave us the the Isis, and this next one is uh, a Neith that's digital, which is so awesome because we get to see two different styles that he he gives us. Or one style, but two different mediums. Mm -hmm. So good job, Bird Asshat, for that one. <laughs> I'm sorry about your name, bro. I tried to. I, tr I <laughs> changed it S. so it wouldn't be what it what what you they submitted. You tried to change his name? Yes, I I took the a second the second S <laughs> out. Ashat, you, you can't you can't a shot. Oh, now yeah. it looks like a shot. Okay. So we're gonna take a break and just check out how far Ooh, Kayla has gotten Kayla. in this new piece. This looks fantastic. Hey, uh, okay. chat. Who could that be? Then? Who could that be? It's asshat. I, don't know. I gotta kind of like, like flush <laughs> this out a bit. <laughs> That's what everyone's saying, asshat. All right, guys, I'm gonna post or Lazis. Thanks, Lazis yeah, is going to post the Ask FM link um, on chat right now. So go ahead. And we're still looking at the straw poll, and it looks like Medieval Style Gods is gonna win it with 227 votes, and the other ones are far, far behind. Womp womp womp. Womp womp womp. All right, Kayla, so that looks fantastic. Let's go back fantastic. to the art show now. They're just spamming Neath. <laughs> you know, you just saying it more yeah. doesn't make it true. Um, all right, and here, ooh, no, we, we skipped one. There was another one before this one. Um, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get this on your game. Go you. back one. Yeah, go back one. What's wrong with you guys? Josh, <sighs> Josh, do you hear me? Our do production crew is broken. I'm production crew is asleep. You. Okay. He's gonna punch you so <laughs> All right. So this is by Chibi Warmonger. We have this cute little uh, comic strip, Smitelings. Yep. Hit and miss. Hit it's and adorable, miss. really. It's adorable. And it's, yeah, it's I'm not gonna lie. I've done that a many times playing Freya when I was trying to learn. Yeah. I was just like, I'm gonna land a banish. Uh, oh. This is what would happen if Kayla and I were on the same team. Kayla, Kayla would totally do that to me while I'm about but to just like she would do it in crap out of someone. I do it on purpose. Yeah, like, she'd do it intentionally. That's, that's my thing. Wow, then we wouldn't be on a team, you jerk. <laughs> All right, so good job, Chibi Warmonger. I'm gonna beat you. Absolutely up adorable. Later. <laughs> um, this one by Chiwa, you guys saw earlier. Now Chiwa! we're gonna go into it. This, she's just so amazing. She kills it with this pixel art. Uh, just eight bit on her and eight bit um, neath. Just looking, she's got a big old smile on her face. I really love pixel art. Love it. I love that she gave on her more of a, a stylized, thin look. Yeah. He's not so bulky up top. Mm -hmm. He's more just streamlined. Um, and the feathers are really cool because it looks like horns. To I me. feel like every submission she was been giving us every week, they've been they improving. Yeah. Even if just by a little. Yeah, because I can just see great. the personality of the gods come out in, in the art. Absolutely. And that's really yes. important. And it's, it's, it's very important that the personality comes out in such a small drawing because yeah. it's very difficult to, con uh, to imply um, emotion with such tiny little faces. Yep. All right, so good job, Chiwa. Go on to the next one. This is more of a graphic... Uh, design. It's Dasha Pol by Dasha Polyakova. Polyakova. Done. Just Nailed it. Three different Najas. It's a pretty yeah. cool desktop background the if you're, a, if you're a Naja player. Yeah, it's it's actually really cool. It takes um, actual screen caps. It might be, or no, it's actually all artwork. It's our, yeah, it's our 2D cards. art. Cards, yeah, 2D artwork that we've done for, for Naja. Great job, Dasha. Excellent job. Really good texture on those clouds, too. Really great job. Dennis 
Lil Vainio, not Denise. <laughs> we got ourselves a tattoo, boys and girls. I know, right? <laughs> uh, we're not we're not telling you guys to go out and get tattoos. Get tattoos. For the sake They're of the wonderful. Show. I have like two. So. Right. Well, you know, ask your parents first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, this is Bakazura about to kill a little minion, and uh, we love this stuff. It started out with just a little finger drawing that someone did. I think it was Dennis, um, and we just think it's so cute Scoochie and very down. original. Yeah. So excellent job. We expect this to be tattooed on someone soon. <laughs> Please make sure you're 18 years old. Dominic Thelemon, Hades, saying, Go, my loyal servants, and rising the dead. Raising the dead. Rising. Rising, rising the dead. Rise that dead. Rising the dead. <laughs> rising. Wine. Riesling. <laughs> Riesling. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, excellent job. This is just traditional um, pencil with a little bit of color on paper. Good, good job, Dominic Thelemon. Not enough Hades. Uh, another Doreen uh, Pitet submission. Well, we're still on Hades. <laughs> oh my god, it's Thanatos, I love him! Oh my oh god, god. Thanatos, <laughs> oh what's god. up? Dory Patet just killing it with this Thanatos, <laughs> looking so good. I think this is for the anime uh, uh, challenge, because he's got that anime look. Yeah, he's got that, definitely got that look. You think yeah. he's got that, that look? Yeah, that Thanatos. signature Thanatos, Thanatos anime that look. Signature I can't. That glare though, anime like... Look. Oh. Yeah, it's I think like he might be a little dark. Like, well, he is the, the the king of the dead, isn't he? Yeah, the king of the dead. The king of the dead. Yeah. And the, the Greek king of the dead right? <laughs> and god of he was timely in, he death. He was in Hercules. That Disney movie came up, and he was like, eh, I think movie? Hades is his brother too. Yeah, like, it is. That's <laughs> his sister is Neith. That's uh, crazy. All right, let's move on. Good job by Dom. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Oh, this one. This is Artemis crying, which makes me super sad. Uh, by Dra Dra Dragold Jub. Once again, blame Josh. I am so sorry, Dragglejub Kribligenin, for just ruining there we your go. name. Can we just Aww. get okay, there we go. Does she need a tissue for her issue? Seriously, why she got so many issues? Oh, oh my god, girl. girl. But this is a traditional, nice and clean, um, and just excellent work on those hands, dude. Like, those hands are fantastic. That one that's like up to her face, gorgeous handwork. Good, good job. Draggle, good job. Dragglejub Kribligenin. All right, and this next one is just a nice, sweet, and simple Sun Wukong by Elise Norris, and it's excellent. Even though it's so simple, her s his staff is just right next to him and everything like that. There's so much detail to it. Yeah, there is a good amount of detail on the staff. Yeah. The fact that they actually wrapped the staff with, like, what looks like colored cord. Yeah. They put texture on the pants. Uh, and for, for it being almost sort of chibi, like, he doesn't have that typical muscular build that he normally has. Yeah. It's yeah. still fantastic. It is detailed. absolutely fantastic. It's so good. So great job, Elise. <laughs> Sorry, chat. If anybody caught that, I apologize. Next one by Ewan Colin. And this is just a great on her. Just a traditional, I think, just all colored pencil. Yeah, colored pencil. Yeah. Old school, like, doing it on the, uh, the you know, when you go to restaurants and they have paper and, yeah. and colored pencils. Ooh, this I is what I imagine. They were like, they went out to, like, Olive Garden. Yeah. <laughs> and then just did it. Like, Mom, and then I don't took a go picture. To We're in here, your family. Game. Uh, and just excellent job also <laughs> incorporating an Egyptian <laughs> peer right next to him. Or, or a column, if you will, with all of the um, Egyptian the hieroglyphs. hieroglyphs. Good job, Ewan Colin. Ewan Colin. Sorry about the name. This is an awesome, Fernando awesome piece Augusto. by Fernando like Augusto. This. this seems like it could be excellent for, for a, um, a, what's it called, a Nintendo DS or, or for something, some sort of game. Just really pixely and it could be the boss fight. This is what we want though. This is what we've been wanting ever since people started giving us pixely drawings. We just would love to see. Yes, like, just a cute eventually someone needs Slinky. to take all of our pixel art that's yeah. been made and just make a game. That would be amazing. Do it. <laughs> just make a game. Yeah, just just, make, just remake Smite Pixel, except not us. You and do you it and imagine? send it to us. And, and put me in there. I want to be in the game. Yeah, I'll be in there. I'll be Hades. That's a own Athena. But uh, good job, excellent job, Fernando Augusto. Very, very unique, and you did a really good job pixelating everything down to the little details of her, uh, the skulls surrounding her, and everything like that. Good job. This next one is by Frey Durr, and this is just Naja, just chilling. He's got uh, some the lotus behind him because he is the third lotus prince, and uh, got that itty bitty job. spear. A little baby He's got baby hands just like me. <gasps> oh my god, is this Gavin? Oh my god, are you related? This is Gavin. He's I related, aren't you? Oh. oh my god. They got the big dingus eyeballs, too. 
looks just like Kevin. Oh, kidding? my God. The noses are a little bit off, I think, yeah. Yeah, the nose is cute. All right, so let's uh, we're going to take another break and check out uh, the progress that Kayla's made so Can far. hurry up already? No. This <laughs> is, I'm kidding. God. It takes, genius takes time. How about that? Yeah, and I'm no, I'm no genius, so, like, it takes me even longer. All right, guys, let me look at some questions. Ooh, we got 14 new questions. Um, would you guys ever get one of your art pieces tattooed? Yes, I have three of my art pieces tattooed on my body. Um, I I, designed this I would like to design my own, and then I would like to have another artist give me their interpretation because after a while I kind of hate my own art. Yeah, so. I actually do do plan on getting a huge one on my arm mm -hmm. that I am coloring and drawing myself. But you know, I want to see if other tattoo artists uh, have a good plan for it. Why does Gavin have a stupid head? Oh man, chat's starting to Excellent. Excellent catch question. on, aren't they? Ooh, are it's they? It's almost as if spoils have been happening this Ooh. whole time. <gasps> Alright guys, we're back to the community art right now. Um, we This next one is by Finian. And this is just Artemis benched. With down a, it's like a it's like down. a young Artemis though. Yeah. It's like, Cause they're little baby it's like itty bitty boy. baby tusky. Oh, he's so cute. Ooh. And um, this one's just got a great ambiance to it because they added a nice background, super crazy foliage detail, um, and it's like it's intricate but simple at the same time because you look at the floor, it's just one solid color, and the background is just a couple of colors overlapping each other. But mm. then the bush is like crazy yeah, detailed, yeah, crazy and then detail. the tree in the same back. Same thing with the tree and the moss growing on it. Yeah, and then exceptional her. job, Finian. Good job, Finian. Very interesting color, uh, put togetherness. Genevieve Bushman. Please tell me I got that right. Uh, and this is Al Kwong with his, I guess his his uh, his pier. We were talking about he has a column. I think that's sea, yeah. Remember? I think that's a tornado. It looks like it's on a like shrine with a lotus on it. So maybe yeah. this has something to do with uh, Naja and Al Kwong and how they like they tend yeah. to fight each other. Either way, impressive. Really very cool. good stuff. Uh, very good shading for it being traditional. Good job, Genevieve Bushman. Yeah, I can say some names. Get out of my face. <laughs> you go. Hunter you go, girl. <laughs> Thanks, a try. <laughs> um, Hunter Childs, this really cool Scylla anime one. And this one was really weird. When I first opened it, I thought those were, like, the first front ones. I thought those were her legs, and they were just hairy. And I was like, oh, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Japan. But I, I like the plaid skirt a lot, the sailor suit. Yeah. It's perfect. Uh, that even down to, like, the, uh, the peace sign, which is just quintessential uh, oh, yeah. anime. Got that and word. Korea, it's going to be stuck in my head. Like, <laughs> what? Quintessential. Quintessential. But great job, Hunter. It's, it's very good. Yes. <laughs> All right, Joanna Casperson, super anime-ish Aphrodite. I was surprised we didn't get more Aphrodite in anime style. Yes, I, think, I know. Right? would really think, yeah. Well, I think it's funnier if you see other gods that win. I mean, I'm, I'm, ha I'm not saying I'm yeah. unhappy. I, I like the fact Did that we had... Yeah. yeah, only no, like... No, I get it, Kevin. <sighs> Boys, shut up. I'm trying to talk about this. Anyway, um, <laughs> good job with the line art. Really cool <laughs> pose. Very, very romantic and beautiful. Fitting for this god. And also the uh, the background, the clouds. Really good little filter you put on it. Um, so good job, Joanna Casperson. Uh, Gerardo Gerard, always killing it with these traditional colored pencil uh, sketches of the gods. This, and this one's cute. best. Yeah. I love the little kitty biting her tail. I know. She's it's like, so no. cute. It's adorable. All these cats no. have like their different personalities and everything. And ho this seems to be kind of um, a theme with Joanna Gerard. Every time she draws Bastet, she has to draw the little yeah, kitty. This is the uh, Joanna's first uh, new Bastet, or the remodeled Bastet. That's right. She drew the old one. Yeah. So it's, it's really exciting to see her interpretation. Excellent job, Joanna Gerard, as always. Uh, this next one, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this one. <laughs> this, somebody really wants a skin for, me skin for Thanatos over here. So they just went ahead. <laughs> They're begging. And they went ahead and just do this. <laughs> so, this Iris, one, please. <laughs> this Iris, one, please. Let's <laughs> get it. Please, this Iris. Is, this is my Julia Potashova, and it's amazing. New skin for Thanatos. Um, <laughs> Lizzie H., this beautiful uh, Artemis. She's a little pissed. She looks miffed. But um, excellent job. Her hair is really, really cute. And the detail on her um, her armor, excellent as always, because she does have a buttload of detail on her armor. It's insane. Yeah, okay. This makes me <laughs> Buttload, <boys>. guys. <laughs> hey, uh, Anna, Anna uh, yes. Max wants you to know that that, that was Kronos. What? No, it's not. Iris Max wanted you to know no. that that was Kronos. Max. No, it's not. Max is confused. Max, Max you're cute. You're very confused. Max, you're super cute. Welcome to the art show, Max. Quick counter trolling, you idiot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next so one. Kind. <laughs> we actually have a theme going now uh, with with this next piece. 
next piece. Next piece. Next piece. Hello. It's there we go. Oh, yeah. there we go. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. Um, and we have a theme. Like I was saying, it's just all about Artemis today. Uh, this one girl. by Malvin Munoz, and this is just the most frightening anime depiction of Artemis because her eyes are so big. The They're pupils gigantic. are so big that I just I don't know. I bet you can see in the dark. I, ch I bet you can see the internet. Like, <laughs> good God. I can see the internet. <laughs> I can see all the internet. For real, though, um, this piece is really cool, but one thing that's probably the most impressive is how they went and created their own uh, font for her name. Yeah, that was cool. Gorgeous, and it works really well yeah, with her. Yeah, it does, Because she's, you know, out in the open. Oh, roses, I love roses, because they're outside, and she's outside. A hunting. great job, Is that what Melvin. she sounds like? I love roses. Oh, I'm oh, yeah, roses. No, she doesn't sound like that. Up, oh, Anna, I'll leave this one to you. Oh, this girl and her name. She, it, Her name's probably, like, Jenny or something, but she just does this because she knows I love saying Spanish names. <laughs> this is by Maria Jimena Fernandez Vilayobos. Oh, so good. Uh, and this is just a really cute little Scylla concept. Um, of, of all of her faces and what they would look like. Super anime-ish at the top left, and then the other ones are just her other faces that she might be making. Like surprise, cheeky, um, scared, really cute. We have another piece by Maria, uh, which is the next piece. Maria! Um, it is. Maria, he this is with color, Maria, and it's really great. Uh, clearly used colored pencils. I love that Maybe water, are those watercolor pencils? Because the blending is just immaculate. Um, it's they might really be Prismacolors because Prismacolors do come with Oh, that's blender. true. They do, they do it's come really, in. really unbelievable how well these colors and the shading is done on her. I hate, as a painter, I hate shading white because oh, it's just God. like so many whites, grays, and what, what should I use actual white for and blue. what should I use gray? It's, yeah. Blue and it's really perfect. such a hard thing. Yeah. Let's right, uh, take a sh look at uh, Kayla's work. See if you guys... Uh, and some Ask FM questions. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Can we submit deities that are not actually in Smite to the art show, or would you rather limit it to the ones in the game? Preferably the ones in the game, because yes. this is Smite art show. I'm there is a Reddit, actually, yes. for, um, and also on the Smite official forums, yes. a place to submit art for, con uh, like, art concepts for gods, for items, and everything like that. Yep. And I suggest if you have something, ideas, you su uh, submit those to the forums or that particular Smite Reddit. Um, but uh, the art show likes to focus on gods that are in the game. Exactly. Or maybe gods that are almost in the game. Almost. Oh. oh. <laughs> what? Uh, here we got a good question. When is the next dev interview? It's coming up, isn't it? Yeah, that's in like yep. 20 minutes. So oh, yeah, yeah, we do. We britches. have one. Yeah. Those britches. Calm them. <laughs> Ooh, Kayla, this is looking so good. Neith is looking great. I know. <laughs> All right, <laughs> guys. <laughs> and right back at it to the community artwork. Um, we have Mickey Mel doing this gorgeous little, I think it might be anime style, I'm not sure, but it's uh, Aphrodite, with her little her little parrot friend, her cockatiel friend. Right? Is that a cockatiel? I, I, it does matter. A little but great job, bird. love the colors, love the background. Yeah, excellent job, Mickey Mel. Now this person said that they not their real name was not no one, nobody important, but I, I felt like that is not true, so, so I just it said it as anonymous. Yeah, <laughs> which is still <laughs> comes out the same. But I would put it as they is wanted your to name submit is very important, or this name is very important. I would have put sunshine, sunshine daisies. Sunshine yeah. daisies. Oh, okay, from now on, if you if you have an anonymous sunshine name, daisies. I'm just gonna name you sunshine. Yeah, daisies. actually, you should. You or we'll should just come like, up with our own name. You should do like butt daisies. But this is a really great hell. I like the work on the eye. Yeah. Uh, I love the like glow from the hands. I think that looks really cool. Yeah, it's a really good job. That dark hell. I like the little uh, either tattoo or scar that you put over her face. That's very interesting. Yeah, but Excellent. great job. Good job, anonymous. <laughs> Uh, Nolan Blaine gave us this traditional, I think it might be marker mixed with colored pencil, Al Kwong. Breathe fire, ha, go back to playing in your mother's basement, or playing D&D &D in your mother's basement. Ooh. Oh, sh oh snap. Shots fired. Shade. Oh, my God. Somebody <laughs> casting shade over here. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for, for being such an avid lover of Smite and hater of D&D. &D. <laughs> um, it's really flattering. Thank you so much, Nolan Blaine, for that one. Oh, this one is so Ollie. good. This one made me giggle I love somewhere. this. Like, I was just going through being like, I wish I could grow any of these facial <laughs> like, Yeah, really? Well, you could be Hercules with his beard on yeah, the ground. Yeah, that's true. If I you guys can see, we have, I'm not going to name them all because you can see them, but down in the uh, third column, 
the one on the way in the far right, you can see Hercules and how everybody was like super butt hurt that we changed Hercules' face and he doesn't have a beard anymore. Yeah. The He's person, got a Ollie, Ollie Feist just killed it by just putting a stubble <laughs> lying there underneath. <laughs> <laughs> so unceremoniously. I really blowing. want to be able to grow the Alkong, to be entirely honest. It's just... They would have been. Alcorn is impressive. That would take years of, of hard beard and training. And a lot of wax. Yes, and a lot, a lot of wax. Of wax. But, but great um, job, Ollie. And good I believe job, we Ollie have Feist. one more submission from you, uh, which is a FLCL Fully Cooly style. Oh my god, guys, I love Nemesis. Fully Cooly so much. It's one of my so favorite animes. It's it really so is. I, w I was really Goku's excited to really see this. I also like that you did the Fully Cooly logo as the Smite logo. Yeah. And you did a really just outstanding job of that, too, which is. Awesome. We've seen it in past shows when somebody takes the logo and manipulates it to uh, be whatever is relevant to that piece. Yeah, and we it's love great. That stuff, I have guys. to doing like marketing stuff for the studio every now and then. I have to alter the logo yeah. like that, and it can be a pain in the butt. So great pain job. Pain in the patoot. Excellent job. Um, just really awesome. Fully great cool. Job, is a great anime. Oh, this one's so peace. It's so awesome. This one is by Peter Kochevsky, and they did uh, Minecraft Geb. Both it's of his amazing. skins, his default skin and his all recolor skin. Yep, I love how it looks. I really do. Yeah, Fantastic. that is like that must have taken so much time. So yeah. thank you for for putting in the effort. I want to live there. I love it. I want to live awesome. there on Gib. <laughs> This is fantastic, guys. We love it when you guys give us um, Minecraft and Smite inspired stuff. So great job, Peter Kachevsky. Next, we have A Nice Apollo by Rebecca Nicole, and this one's really cool. It seems like um, everything is very symmetrical with him. His uh, Not a lot of people draw the little thingies that go with him, his weapons, Yeah. because um, they're, they're a little bit intricate, but this artist just completely killed it with mm -hmm. uh, the, the, what's it called, the arms locking. They're like arm crossbow things that yeah. he has. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like super symmetrical. It mm -hmm. looks like it would be a, a really cool sticker. So excellent job, Rebecca Nicole. Richard Lindgren, this is nice and simple. I think pencil on, on paper, uh, chalk. It works. He looks angry, though. Chocolate rain. <laughs> looks like he's about to... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I Sorry. Great that. job, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job, Richard. And this next one is pretty fierce and fantastic. This, is this the might fiercest be... of Shiblanke. This might be anime-ish, actually, because of the... Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, thing. The, yeah. the zoom lines? Uh, this yes. is by Rod Gill, and this is uh, Chabalanke. Just about to own somebody. Own it. Own oh it. God, I love having this microphone because I can do so many things with my I keep wanting now. to eat mine, so. I could like do a free Having issues. Uh, excellent job, Rod Gill. The color and just the, the energy. edginess. Yeah, the edginess and the yeah. energy. It's it's a great, great piece. I'm, it is. As all of you that have been watching the show for a while know, I'm a huge fan of this kind of style. Yeah. So seeing this, it was it was. Really cool. It's so impressive that the lines are so loose, but they're all kept together, and you know what everything's happening in the, in yeah. the piece. You know where everything is. Good job, Rod Gill. Oh wait, I I, have, I forgot to say one thing before we started. Oh, I, yeah. We decided to put all of the winning pieces at the very end. Oh yes, we did. So there's some really really good yeah. stuff at the end. Uh, so let let us know how. If you don't like this format, let us know. Give us your feedback yeah. on Twitter. Um, but yeah, that's how this is going. But this is let's or I it. like it, and I don't care what you guys say. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> but let's get into uh, Ravik Roldan's Kayla's piece. Kayla's fired. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, all right, guys. And this next one is by Rovik Roldan. Getting a so lot of traditional work today. Chibi Zeus. Uh, and this is yeah, this is Chibi Zeus. He's adorable. Um, thank you so much. This is just a uh, pencil on paper, and we love seeing traditional stuff. So. Excellent job, Rovik. Rolled in. All right, guys, let's go back to Kayla. Oh, Lord. Who is that? Neith got a haircut? I don't even know. <laughs> Good. I don't even know. Girl, that haircut, though. I still don't know what I'm doing right the now. The back of your head mm -hmm. is ridiculous. That's for healing. Kate. That's for high res Kate, because I love her. I love high res Kate, too. No. No me. But no. wait, Neith doesn't have things coming out of her wait, arms. What? That's what crazy. Is this? That's insane. What is this shenanigans? Oop. We have a new question. Yeah. So let's get right back into it. Oh, um, that's, well, that's I believe, yes, Sarah, Sarah Rudders, Rudders is the next piece. Thank you, Sarah. She gave us the dark hell. It's only fitting that she would give us the other half, uh, which is... Kayla is now say, raising I, her hand. Sarah, I figured it out. I know who your second favorite god is. <laughs> I know it. No, Kayla, no. I know it. No, it's crazy. It's impossible to tell. Zonkwe. Oh, <laughs> right? It's got to be Zonkwe. I knew it. Damn, that's cold. All right, uh, no, but Sarah Rudder, we always love your style and always look forward to your very artwork. Very colorful so. and very happy. Yeah, excellent job, Sarah Rudder. 
Sean Matson. This one's just a nice and simple. It might seem um, like fo like a what's it called um, MS Paint just because of the insane flatness of it. But either way, it's hysterical. Um, I believe there that's is Kelly. Yeah, it's Kelly with blue hair. It's Zeus with uh, hearts. Um, and then I love that. That little red thing, that is Poseidon's nosebleed. Yeah, he's just having like a mega nosebleed right now. That's how we all reacted when we saw Kelly's blue hair because she is so cute. And Actually, blue that's hair. a lie. I think it was just Anna. Yeah, it was no, just No, I actually me. really was, love her blue hair. It was blood everywhere. I've been touching her, her face and her hair for the past three days, just touching it. <laughs> Happy been. It's a great job. I'm kidding. I don't do that. Um, Sean Sherman, these two pieces are really cute. They're very small guys, so you have to squint a little bit. And it's a super pixelated um, Scylla. I'm a monster. And then in the bottom, we have Naja just chilling at home after a hard day fighting with a very uh, dark. <laughs> um, it's Al Al Kong's Kong's head, head mounted on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, above his fireplace. It's Perfect. Very cute. Um, good job, Sean Sherman. These are very cute. Skylar Bradsby, uh, Bradsby, not really Smite related, kind of Smite related. But it's related. the face off. They the they redid the face off logo to make it more accurate yeah, now. Yeah, it's hilarious. Thank you so much <laughs> for this. They got that pedo stash. I'm on. just loving that little the the Norse symbol. It's just so tiny. It's just like yeah. slapped on. Great job. So, excellent job, Skylar Bradsby. Oh God, Stephen Brule. Right out of your nightmares, people. Right straight out of my nightmares. I can't even. I have I have no words. It looks for this. like he's holding I a pizza roll. <laughs> <laughs> like that's or a corn dog. <laughs> no, no, it looks like one of those balloons that you get from like a oh, clown. Really? Yeah, they like clubs. inflate them. It looks like Loki like got acid poured on his face and then I just, had a balloon knife. I'm frightened by you, Stephen Brule. The face is pretty <laughs> accurate to the one head? in game, though. This like. is fantastic. <laughs> It's got a little bit of a troll face going on, God, too. God, we love this stuff. We would love for you to, to contact us and let us know what exact uh, program you're using, either ZBrush or Sculptress or any kind of 3D modeling, because this is fantastic and scary. I'm scared. So great job, Steven. Steven Lee gave us this really cool um, uh, arachne skin. Very creepy. or Well, not arachne skin. Well, yeah, arachne skin. Her as a scorpion. Very frightening. The detail on the legs, the bug legs, are are just so good. I really like the sketchiness of it. Yeah, and yeah. I like that you put um, her not only having claws, but hands as hands well. You put the it claws. all. Yeah, you put it all together. Excellent job, Stephen Lee. Your weekly we Willy Wolf. Oh Shut man. Up, you're stupid. <sighs> In this um, double time here. Yeah. Yeah. Get wrecked. It's like mate. A, it's like my it's not even my birthday. <laughs> Willy Wolf just gave us two. When is this your is birthday? Adorable. It's in August. Ooh, um, his birthday's coming up, Willie. It's a terrible birthday. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just gap. All right. Uh, Willie Wolf gave us Freya just owning, I think, Arachne or Bacastura. I'm not sure who that is. That's Kali. Kali. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, She yeah. just looks like a little ladybug. She's so cute. Uh, and then you have Hell making too many cookies, and Apollo's like, I'm out of here, even though it's crazy because I love cookies. <laughs> so good job, Wiley Wolf. That's Always exactly killing what's it. happening. Always a fan. Barefoot age 15. I love you, Zane Levy. This is fantastic. He actually, uh, he sent me this on Instagram. He tagged me, uh -huh. and I loved it. I double tapped so hard. Yeah, I know. I did, too. I was like, yes. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I, I like love this. this. You're getting so much better, dude, too. Like, you the know. smiley face nipples really do it for me. The, it's the little. Well, duh. There's, yeah, more, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's also many more little hidden. There's a reason, hidden, and I love this. There's reasons. There's <laughs> reason Anna loves this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got plenty of little secrets like all this. over his body other than the smiley oh nipples, but God. we'll move on now. <laughs> so good. All right, guys, we finally made it so many So pieces. you haven't seen this week's new format. You haven't seen any of these yet. Ooh. So rather than re-go over everything... We will just put all the ones we like at so, the bottom. And as I said in the tweet earlier today, we have 12 winners today because you guys did Lord. so friggin' well. So good. But before, but before we, we go that, this, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, can you please? Before <sighs> we do please? this, we're gonna go and look at Kayla's thing. Oh my oh. God, who's that's? That it's definitely cool. Neath, though. No, I I know it's Neath now. No, you know who that is? That's a female Kronos. Yeah, <laughs> Thanatos at least. That's exactly. At the very oh, least, Thanatos. That's exactly what Stop. it is. Are you sure? You weirdo. Yeah. All right, awesome. so top picks first off we have top alicia picks. hartman with this kumbakarna oh, oh this, this is, is just so good. my neighbor to or my neighbor totoro uh and they switched <sighs> so it good. and made smite this neighbor. is wonderful my i i like honestly i jumped out of my seat at work <laughs> when you sent this in and i saw it i was so excited to see so this precious. and it looks like the the actual like movie like the, just the, yeah. the stillness and everything um it's 
Excellent job, Alicia Hartman. So that congratulations. That that'd cute. be some gems. Annie V killing it with this Scylla. She's oh. always been so well known for just coloring up the. the and this is blood. her anime I style. She oh, wanted to go it. with a, a darker yeah. kind of style as opposed to the kind of like stereotypical kind of like bright colorful. I think she's stuck with anime though because the eyes yeah. aren't her. I she, really she love the dog though, like underwater and stuff. Yeah. And the glow yeah. The How cool is that? Like yeah. Really Gorgeous. good details. Excellent job, Annie V, as always. The next one will make you guys nosebleed so hard. Cher Shen, love it. Instead of going with the uh, the usual anime route, they went with beautiful anime, which would be the Miyazaki films. And this is My Neighbor Totoro, but it's My Neighbor, my neighbor Totoro Manicor. Manicor. Yeah. My Neighbor Manicor. <laughs> with Isis and Neve so under the umbrella. So unbelievable. This is so cute. This is <laughs> so freaking cute. Cher Shen just always killing it. It's, it looks like a still from the movie. It's fantastic. Excellent job. This next one is by Corey Brown, and it's an amazing geb. It's got great motion to it, good lens blare and everything like that. The dust mixed with the sunlight coming in through the dust, and then the shine of his uh, his uh, stone. The edges. lighting, the detail, the edges. blur. There's just uh, so much to like about this piece, so we just had to pick it as one of our top picks. It all yeah. comes together perfectly. Excellent job, Corey Brown. I like how the... the the stones on them were, were yeah. glowing. They're so really we asked good. for anime style. This is just perfect anime. This is exactly what I think of when I think of anime. It's just like chicks at school with the skirts and the things and the legs and the yeah and <laughs> the, the skirts things. and the things Kawaii, and the legs. Let's go to work, but then kill demons after school. <laughs> I love it. And you can see her little like her little staff right yeah, behind her. Yeah, Nemesis sword. You have Aphrodite's staff, and you have the a little bit of the crown for. Uh, Artemis. And if you see in the classroom, one cute little thing that you see is actually a uh, a Joust map. No, no, that's the uh, that's the conquest map. map. The conquest and map, yeah. uh, the tight the uh, Titan of Order in it's the background. It's amazing. Just the Wonderful. detail. The detail Just down to like so a good. lightning bolt. How could you how could you not win, Emma? This is so, so good. So good. Excellent job. Not? Oh, that's by a Emma Raish. Emma Raish. Uh, this one, oh god, we were just waiting for someone to do Attack on Titan, because that's just what's blowing this up This isn't right Attack on Titan, this is ADC on Titan. Oh, excuse me, ADC on Titan, my bad. <laughs> uh, this one's by Frederick Hardson, and he actually told us that this one took him a while. He, like, mentioned it on Twitter, he tagged us, and he was like, this took forever. Um, excellent. Good job, man. Like, the, the perspective is great. That angle is such a weird angle, it's almost like a fishbowl angle, um, and you did it really well. And I mm -hmm. think it's uh, one of the titans. It's just a titan. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a certain god, but it's Artemis and Apollo just about to own booty. It's got a lot of action in it, which it does. I really like. And it tells, it tells a good story, which I also like. You can tell you spent a lot of time. It's, it's yeah, got a thought, lot it's of well hurt. It's got yeah. the, like, the muscle strands and everything. It's great. Really good. Very good job. And the fact that it's just a traditional pencil piece with shading. Awesome. So great job, Frederick. This next one, Jasmine Mackey, who I love. She's the best. This is actually from um, one of our past challenges from last week's, which was Sci-Fi Gods, and she did Freya, and this is gorgeous. And uh, we've had a, like, I think there's a few of our actual artists at high res and a few community artists that have done, uh, like, a sci-fi style. Freya. I think, yeah, like a pixel Freya. Max, Max did yeah. the yeah, pixel Freya. And uh, it was really cool to see a sci-fi Freya that was completely different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. Well, I really like the, cool. that this uh, Freya, the, she decided to keep... Um, some of the aspects of normal Freya, but add some little sci-fi elements. Yeah. So she still has like the long flowing hair and the sword, but her whole arm. I love that is her braids sword. are rather than being tied off. It's just like a steel Encased. like case, just like yeah. That's really I just awesome. Love it. You you kept her just great perfect. detail, great detail. Good job, Jasmine Mackey. And this one, Julia Potashova. <laughs> I said I wanted. Uh, attack on Titan, and they did it. And this is Attack on Kronos. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> this is excellent. And, and it's, and it's so on point. It's <laughs> Dude, when it comes to trolling, I've forgotten what's reality and what's trolling anymore. <laughs> I'm actually really sad. <laughs> um, this is actually Attack on Thanatos, and it's excellent. It's at Kronos and Thanatos. I like the texture feel of this a lot. Yeah, it, the poster feel of it mm -hmm. is really cool, too. Um, down to, like, just the detail of the face and everything. Uh, Julia has always been known to do really well with faces and everything. So, good job, Julia Potashova. And we're nearing the end here, guys. We have Kevin Shuk, and this is just perfect anime. It's just all the school kids after school running to go home or going to school. I'm not sure. Uh, and we have uh, Bastet hanging from a tree, Artemis and Apollo just chilling with her little boar pet. Just a lot of action, a bike. lot of fun stuff. Yep. I love Vamana. 
his face is yeah, the I love best. that Vamana, like, because that happens in anime a lot. Like, the yeah. fatter kid is always in the full black, whereas the other kids are in the white shirts with the black pants. Hmm. Have you noticed that's a thing in anime? Is it? So it's perfect. And then but Mercury great, great job, Kevin. Wonderful stuff. Great job. Marvin, Marvin Hidalgo. Yay! Oh, Marvin Sailor Hidalgo. Moon. Of course we had to have Sailor Moon. I'm, I'm actually shocked. I was going to cry. Who, who I was really going to cry if I didn't have Sailor Moon. Be Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon than Shunga. Shunga, yeah. She is a, a freaking Sailor, Sailor Moon, Moon person. Like, it's it's perfect. Yeah, she, she looks like But her. absolutely wonderful. Love the colors. Love the soft features on yeah. her. You have a really great style. style. Wow, I can't even speak. Scary you have a great Queen. style, Queen. Marvin. Queen. And it really... I give up. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Uh, good job, Marvin Hidalgo. All right. Oh, um, we, sk we had a skip. Josh. Hashtag blame Josh. Josh. Josh, Josh please. Like, come on. Get your act together. Josh, do you copy? I will ruin you. There we go. <laughs> All right. Melvin Leong. This one. Yay. Obviously, guys, this has to be a winner. Uh, this is Pokemon Smite. And this is great. This is um, saying, I, Naja, challenge you to a battle. And then Neith is like, Neith accepts your challenge. Scylla, I choose you. Ra, I choose you. And then Scylla's like, Scylla, Scylla. And then Ra's like, Ra, cuck, up. Oh, mm, excuse me. Ra. Because that's what Pokemon do. They yell out their names. Oh my god. This and is, it's perfect. So good. It's so well done. Can you come done. home with me and like read me bedtime stories? <laughs> um, yes, but you might have to wait because I'm already book solid for the month. <laughs> okay. So. But great job, Melvin. <laughs> it's your second job. <laughs> yeah. It's actually all adults. Really. So we have like, more. Yeah. <laughs> from uh, <laughs> Patricia <laughs> Fabica. Yeah, you try saying that name. Patri I did. Oh. did I just, just did. Kevin just looked me in the eyes. <laughs> I felt something. Um, this is best. Rage. <laughs> <laughs> Pure rage. Um, this is just a really cute anime style Bastet. Um, just really adorable. They got that little anime hood because you know they love putting cat ears on everything. So very cute. Nico, nico, nico. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's that? Yeah, that thing. All right, and this is the last piece. Last and piece, and this is my favorite one, So guys. amazing. Oh, oh my, I can't even talk. Let me this is by Sky it. Flu, by the way. Oh my god, you have Sky Sailor Flu. Smite. You have Smite Balls. <laughs> 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 and you have Poke Smite. Smite Balls. Oh, <laughs> Smite Balls. <laughs> Sailor Smite. Smite Ballsy, Sailor yeah. Smite with, well, Jean Quay of oh, all. <laughs> like, <laughs> the face... <laughs> Uh, I need this. I need this yeah. as large as possible to make this my desktop background Bart, forever. Bart's like <laughs> holy poop. Yeah, like yeah, Bart. Look it, at this. It's so crazy Kelly, good. Kelly would appreciate that middle one though. That really, guy? just outstanding. That Vulcan booty. Let, let's leave it for you guys for a minute. He's got. It's got so much oh. personality in it. But uh, we are all. We are at a time. Uh, oh, so yeah, we're gonna yeah. go back to Kayla's sketch and close out. As you can see. Um, Oh that doesn't look goodness. like anything we've seen yet Who in is Smite. That? Who is that? Oh my God, I guess like you're going to have to stick around for the next few minutes for the interview yeah, because you might have to. Uh, that's you definitely might something have we haven't seen before yeah. in Smite, have we? No, I don't know. Yeah, what it is. that's. Looks like Gavin on a good day. <laughs> what? <laughs> Suppose Gavin makes when he walks into the studio. Hey, <laughs> come <Yeah. laughs> That's exactly what right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, all right. And now we're just going to go ahead and do the straw poll, the challenges. Yep. Medieval style gods already won with 200. And we will tweet that out for all of you. Yes, we will. Uh, the VOD will be available to you all if you missed any of the beginning. Uh, so just drop by uh, Smite Game. Uh, to check out the VOD if you exactly. missed any of the show. Remember, scroll down below to submit a piece. And uh, we'll do see you all. That. Whatever they said, do that. Yeah. yeah do we'll that. see you all next week. Thanks for joining us. Thank you guys so Bye much. Guys. Have a good weekend. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs>